Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and we'll be going over coding exercise 43 of the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. We are still in the functions section, so section 20 of the course. And at this one, um, we're going to be doing a couple things. So we'll do number one is uh, create a function called return day. Number two is it will take one parameter, um, takes one param, which is a number one to seven. Number three is it returns the day of the week. So, um, you know, they're starting day one is Monday and day seven is Sunday. So if you live in an area where Sunday is considered the first day of the week, you just have to adjust that uh, thought process for this challenge. So um, if the number is less than or greater two, so we'll do this. So we'll return day of the week. One is Monday, seven is Sunday. And then you can kind of do the math from there. So um, if number is less than one, return null. If number is greater than seven, return null. And what's number six? <clears throat> okay, so we have two options here. So it's giving us a hint. It's saying, hey, use an array or use an object. So <clears throat> I do think, um, I do think both of these are great solutions, and so let's uh, let's tackle them both here. All right, I'm gonna grab a drink real quick. All right, so we'll just start basic as always. We'll do we'll do const return day and we have that. Perfect. Number two is it will take a parameter, which will be number, let's we'll call it day. And then we need to return the day of the week. So let's think about this. So we got one is Monday. Yeah. Two is Tuesday, it is Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and we'll do Sunday here. So we got that, which is fine. Seven, six, five, four. All right, so, all right, cool. So depending on how your, your mind thinks, um, both of these make sense to use an array and, or, well, this makes sense to use an array, but it also makes sense to use an object because the day is directly tied to the number. So that's a key value pair. Now, because it's a number that also lines up with an array. So we can really do either or. So let's, let's solve it for both. So the first one, let's just say we'll do an array. So const stays. And then we have Monday, yeah, Tuesday, we have Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. So we have an array here. So this is a little interesting because we have the zeroth index is Monday, which is really number one. And then the first index is Tuesday, which is really number two. So I've seen a couple people do this, which while this will satisfy what we're looking for, this is kind of bad practice. So if you have an instance like this where we're, we need one to be the first thing, you really just want to add one to the number. So um, day is going to be a number between one and seven. So if 
and let's just return day. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but that's in our pseudo code. So, all right. So if day is less than one, we want to do something and we'll return null. And we also want to do that if day is greater than seven. Okay, so we have two things here. So let's do, we can add these together. I don't know if you guys remember from one of the previous exercises here. What we'll do, if it's less than one or, because remember we have the and, but they both have to be true. And you can't have a number that is both less than one and greater than seven. That's just, I don't think it's possible. So we want to do the or. And so what we're saying here is, hey, if either of these two things is true, run it. So one can be true, one can be false. So if we pass in a zero, it will be less than one, but it's not greater than seven. But since one of these is true, we still return null. All right, cool. So let's do, um, let's log this and let's just make sure. And we'll do zero and we should get null. We get eight from the previous challenge, which I'm not sure why it's not saving, but all right, let's try and save it there. All right, so we're getting null, perfect. So it's less than one, so that's null, and let's just do 10, so that's more than seven, and that's also null, perfect. And let's just add, just so we know that it's the new console log, because this JS bin has been acting weird. All right, so we get one. Oh, heh. so we what, we, what I accidentally did here was I passed this one string into the array, or uh, sorry, into the function. So day is now negative one. And this actually brings up a really um, kind of a cool thing that you'll learn over time, but you might not know right out of the gate is the string one is not equal to the number one. And this is why doing triple equals is so important. So if you do double equals, this right here, this will be true. And that's because double equals, all that does is it checks value. So the value of the string of one and the value of the number of one are the same. The triple equals, checks value and type. So this will now be false. Because even though the value of one as a string and the value of one as a number is the same, the types are different. This is a string, this is a number. And that's why this triple equals will fail. And there's also kind of a weird trick with objects and arrays, but we'll go over those when they come due. All right, so we're gonna add this here to make sure that this is the same console log. All right, so we have false there. So it's not yet. So let's do, all right, cool. So we got one and we got no, perfect. All right, so that looks good. And then, so let's say it's not that. How do we get what we want? So if we return, so we know we can get the index with just kind of the number. And let's check this out. So we're passing in 10, so this should still be null. So that still is null, but let's do seven. So this seven should be Sunday. All right, let's check this out. Oh, interesting. So we still got, we still got null. All right, what if we do six? Oh, interesting. So we get Sunday. So six should actually be Saturday, but we're getting Sunday. So, all right, what's going on here? Oh, so, all right. So I don't know if you guys remember or not, but arrays are indexed and they start at value zero. So zero is actually the first spot, which would be Monday. 
which is why seven was null because there's no seventh thing. Sunday's actually going to be six because it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Yeah. So really, we could just add one, right? To the number. So we're giving it a number. We need it to be one more than it really is. So let's see what we get here. All right, so we get undefined. All right. So that's because we did six, and we're going to do six plus one is seven. Okay, so that actually doesn't work. Crap. All right, so. Oh, we actually need to go the other way. We need to go minus, because if we give it one, we want it to be zero. If we give it seven, we want it to be six. Oh, okay. All right, so let's see what six gets us. Okay, cool. So six gets us Saturday, which is what we expect. What does seven give us? This should be Sunday. Okay. Um, this should be Monday, perfect. And if we do zero, this should be undefined or null. Okay, cool. So, um, you know, there's there's a lot of other things we could have done. Again, like I said, you know, some people will add a null value here, which is it passes the test, but I really do think that's bad practice. Um, so let's see if this passes the test on Udemy. So we got to check the solution there. All right, so it didn't pass. So we have the return day. The return day function should return the correct day for valid numbers. I expected Thursday to be Thursday. So. <laughs> This was really just a typo, which is fine. And again, this is why reading the um, reading the errors is really important, right? We could have spent hours trying to figure out what the problem was when in reality it was just a spelling error. Okay, cool. So, all right, so we got that solved with the array. So now let's try and do this with an object. So. I think we can keep this if check the same because we still don't want anything less than one or greater than zero. Um, but instead, we want to do an object. So let's do const days equals. And this is kind of why I was saying like this is a very unique situation, right? So both the um, array option and the object option make a lot of sense. So but in reality, I think for this one, the object makes more sense because um, remember like the kind of the massaging of the data we had to do. Um, that's kind of like why we use for each is at work opposed to for loops because you're just taking out that one extra um, chance of failure, right? So with an array, we need the number to be one less than it really is. And while that doesn't seem like a big issue, um, you know, maybe make a typo maybe you're busy that day or you just have something else on your mind and you just make a simple mathematical mistake and your code will break. Whereas with an object, we say, hey, one means Monday, two means, we're literally telling it what the key and the value pairs are. So with an array, we don't really have that choice. So let's do this. And we don't want this because now the day and the days are tied up, which is perfect. All right, so we get null because it's zero, which is good. Let's do five, which should be Friday. Okay, cool. And um, another thing too is we could probably do, I don't know if we can do the dot notation or not. Oh yeah, so we still can, which is cool. So let's see if Monday works. All right, so I don't think this is working. 
Okay, cool. So yeah, so with objects, if it's a variable, it has to be, and I think I've said this before, but it has to be in the brackets. Um, if it's a, if it's like a, a string or a singular thing, then it doesn't, but because data is technically a parameter or a variable, we do need it to be wrapped in this. Oh, so return day one, one should be Monday, days, day. Not sure if I did something wrong or, okay. I just didn't save it, sorry guys. And then two will be Tuesday. Perfect. So let's see if this passes the Udemy test. And we don't need you anymore. And we'll do this, which is fine. We got that. We actually don't want you either. All right. So we have our array, or uh, sorry, our object of key value pairs. One is Monday, two is Tuesday, so on, so on. If day is less than zero or day is greater than seven, return null. Otherwise, just return the day with the key of whatever was passed in to the function. So let's see if this passes the test as well. And perfect. So uh, that's the way that we can tackle this both with an array or with an object. Um, kind of like we talked about earlier, I really think an object is probably the better route because since the array starts at zero, we have to kind of manipulate this this day object or this day value, which didn't seem like much. You know, it's pretty easy, but when you get into more complex things, um, you just are opening yourself up for more possibilities of failure. So, or more possibilities to like make a small little mistake that you know makes the whole project crash. So. Um, that is coding exercise 43. I hope you guys learned something from this. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next exercise.